Adult learning in North America is characterized by its diversity of programs, students, and purposes. Adult learning might include an aerobics class at your local YMCA or community center, a workplace training session, a literacy or job skills training program, a course at a local college, or a free course taken fully online. These are just a few examples of the adult learning opportunities that are available. Before we explore adult learning further, it's important to get an understanding of what we mean by adult learning, and that is the goal of this video. During this video, please reflect on the following analysis questions. What does it mean to be an adult? What is adult learning? What are the boundaries of the field that help distinguish it from other educational and social endeavors? And what counts as adult education and what doesn't? Before we can start to define adult learning, we can start by considering who is an adult. The notion of adulthood is often culturally and socially derived and can include factors such as gender, ethnicity, religion, behaviors, and other cultural norms. There are also legal definitions of adulthood, which are generally anchored in chronological age, such as the voting age, drinking age, age of consent, etc. There is a wide variation among governments in these definitions. Take for example the drinking age in Canada versus the US. There is also a variation of definitions within the same government. For example, in Canada, men and women can leave compulsory schooling at 16, they can vote at age 18, and drink at age 19. So there's even some discrepancies within our own government about what we consider to be adult. There are also physiological definitions of adulthood, which typically focus on the ability to reproduce, which varies from era to era, culture to culture, and individual to individual. Psychological maturity levels and social roles, as well as life situations, are also used to define adulthood. Knowles suggests that individuals should be treated as adults educationally if they behave as adults by performing adult roles and if their self-concept is that of an adult. In summary, many complex factors must be taken into account when defining and describing who is an adult. In the broadest sense, an adult could be defined as those whose age, social roles, or self-perception define them as adults. Consider the following. How does these definitions match your own definition of an adult? Do you consider yourself to be an adult? According to the Council of Ministers of Education Canada, adult learning is the process or the results of adults gaining knowledge and expertise through practice, instruction, or experience. Adult learning may be intentional or non-intentional, may take place in a variety of settings, at home, in educational institutions, at work, or in the community. According to the Council of Ministers of Education Canada, adult education is then all sustained, systematic, and structured educational activities at any level beyond initial education, whether offered formally or non-formally, which are undertaken by all of those defined as adults in their society for the purposes of personal, social, or workplace knowledge, skills, attitudes, and values acquisition. Merriman Brockett defined adult education as activities that are intentionally designed for the purpose of bringing about learning among those whose age, social roles, or self-perception define them as adults. Darkenwald and Merriam consider adult education as a process whereby persons whose major social roles are characteristic of adult status undertake systematic and sustained learning activities for the purpose of bringing about changes in knowledge, attitudes, values, or skills. Long defines adult education as all systematic and purpose efforts by the adults to become an educated person. And Knowles define adult education as a set of organized activities carried on by a wide variety of institutions for the accomplishment of specific educational objectives. UNESCO defines adult education as the entire body of organized educational processes, whatever the content, level, and method, whether formal or otherwise, whether they prolong or replace initial education in schools, colleges, and universities, as well as apprenticeship whereby persons regarded as adult by the society to which they belong, develop their abilities, enrich their knowledge, improve their technical or professional qualifications, or turn them in a new direction and bring about changes in their attitudes or behavior in the twofold perspective of personal development and participation in balanced and independent social, economic, and cultural development. Although the terms are often used interchangeably, Adult learning is typically regarded as a cognitive process that is internal to the learner, which can occur at any time, whereas adult education is a systematic, organized event that is intended to bring about learning. 
Adult education can be thought of as a subset of adult learning, as learning by adults occur both within the framework of adult education and also beyond it. There are a number of additional terms and definitions that are also used to describe adult learning and adult education. Adult basic education refers to the instructional programs for adults whose basic skills in areas such as reading, writing, and computation are assessed below the ninth grade level. Adult secondary education includes the general education development or GED diploma, high school credit programs for adults, and external diploma programs. Continuing education is used by post-secondary institutions to refer to credit and non-credit activities that extend beyond the daytime programs serving students of traditional college age. Extension is also used to define an educational opportunity provided by colleges and universities to people who are not enrolled as regular students. Community education may refer to any formal or informal education that takes place in the community. Lifelong learning or lifelong education is a process of continuing to acquire knowledge and skills through formal and informal education throughout one's life. Please reflect on the following synthesis questions. What characteristics are used to define adulthood? How is adult learning conceptualized? What activities are considered to be adult education? And what other terms are used to refer to adult learning and how do they differ?